Now, your news on the go. Upstate Medical University is now making plans after promising results from two COVID-19 vaccine trials. The hospital system is preparing for two scenarios, either getting enough vaccines for its staff and patients or also being responsible for the vaccine for the entire region. Upstate has ordered freezers to keep the Pfizer vaccine stored nearly 100 degrees below zero. The Oswego City School District is transitioning all of its learning to online today right through Thanksgiving break after two more positive COVID cases. This comes after a strong message from the Oswego Mayor Billy Barlow who warns if the city's data continues to go the way it is, Oswego will be labeled as a yellow zone in quote a very short order. Parts of Onondaga already in a yellow zone for the second day in a row. Onondaga County saw the exact same number of COVID-19 cases, 153. The county executive says most of them are from community spread. So keeping the virus under control is still an issue. As of now, there are 75 people in the hospital with the virus. No new deaths were reported yesterday. 18 people living at Loretto Health and Rehabilitation caught COVID-19 from an asymptomatic employee. The 18 live on the same floor. A spokesperson says the employee likely got the virus in between testing days. The 18 people have now been moved to a COVID-specific isolation unit within the Loretto campus. Syracuse police need your help. They say one man is in critical condition after a shooting in the Westcott neighborhood. It happened last night around 8.20 in the 100 block of Judson Street near Thorndon Park. They found a 23-year-old man shot in the midsection, taken to Upstate Hospital where he is in critical condition. They're still investigating the shooting.